All right, so what I'm going to do today is I am trying to record my podcast uh, from the Google Doc over into GarageBand. So if you're a Mac user, this will be useful for you. If not, um, you can use uh, Audacity, which I'll show you guys later on. But basically, this is what I'm going to try to do. And I'll show you how to use GarageBand to get what you need. So here we go. What I'm going to do here is I pulled up my podcast or the, my script, more or less and I'm going to go over the Launchpad and find GarageBand. So it's basically a free app, so you should have it uh, as long as you're, you have a legitimate Mac, okay? And then I'm gonna have to make my choice here, and I'm just gonna pick voice, because that's all I'm gonna really use for now. Later on, I might, you know, do some other stuff, but I'm gonna choose voice, and then over here, where you see bright vocal, fuzz vocal, all that kind of stuff, I can change that later on and either add a musical track, or I can do like a second track if I kind of feel like I need to kind of split things up. But for now, I'm going to just use this one thing right here. And what I would be really helpful for me when I'm recording is to use this notepad. So what I'll do is I'll just click on that notepad and go back to here. I'm going to copy everything. And here in GarageBand, I'm just going to paste it. So now I'm ready to kind of basically just start recording my podcast. So here we go. I'm going to just press this red button and I get going. Perfection. Perfect is defined by Merriam-Webster as being free from flaws or defects in condition or quality. Happened. Um, I started recording, didn't like it, so what I did is as it was going, I kind of messed up at some point, and then basically, okay, so I'm like, all right, I need to record this whole thing all over again. What I can do is just basically go back, press this button again, the record button, and record it from the get-go. The other thing too that can happen is, for example, let's say I mess up, just like the last line, for example. Okay, like I completely flaked out there for a second. Uh, I can basically go back to that one point and then go to um, split regions of the playhead, and I can just and I can just press record and keep going on from there if I wanted to. Um, so it kind of gives you a chance to kind of do it and then do a do-over as many times as you need to. So that's one of the nice features about using GarageBand uh, or any type of recording thing, um, rather than trying to get it all done in one like, three minute go, which is really challenging actually. Um, so, so that's one nice feature. But in this case, I need to start all over again because I did not like how I did it from the get go. So there you go. Once you're done with everything, you record everything, you put it, put in your background music that you wanted to put in, it's all done. Well, last thing you want to do is you actually want to go to there we go share, okay? And then you can share actually right over to export song to disk, and from here you can change it to desktop. And then it might come in as AAC, but first I would do MP3. It's the smallest file you can do. A WAV file is massive, so I would stick with the MP3. It's just small, so just press ex export. Give it some time and then um, it will export it all and then that's what you can upload onto Google Classroom. So um, that is pretty much it. So once it's done, okay, it should show up. This I believe to have 18 podcasts, but I need mine. It should show up 